back to another edition of Mail Call, and here we have um, probably the most bizarre thing you will ever see opened in my videos. And before I get bombarded with comments telling me how much of a weirdo I am, um, I will provide context as soon as I get this opened. And forgot to mention that this is from Amazon, like all my other packages. And here it is. Get this out. And as you can see, this is Handy Horse. As you guys know, I have a custom wrestler in WWE2K16 called Jim, and uh, my friend Burnout Inc. sent me a message on Instagram telling me he found this at some mall. Um, so I looked it up on Amazon, found it for like $9, $9, $10. I bought it just to see if this part right here will work as a head scan for Jim. If it does, yay. If it doesn't, it's not a lot of money that I wasted. So I think it was definitely worth the 10 bucks. as here it is. Right off the bat, I think it might be a little bit too big for Jim. It's a horse mask, so they are pretty big. Alright, that should be good. I'm not going to be using these. These are just weird. Um, well, yet, yet again, so is this whole thing. But here is the face scan. It's actually really funny looking. Um, but we are going to get some random body and see if this works. Randy Orton is going to be our test dummy. And here, here's the, I look, every time I look at this, I laugh. It just looks... So funny. Um, so as you can see, it has a little thing right here that's meant to go on your fingers, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be able to fit over a head scan. And here it is. Oh, this is legendary. <laughs> oh my god, this looks so funny. It's a little bit too big for a head scan. I'm, I'm not quite sure yet, but this <laughs> So as you can see, this is really big. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. Um, I'm going to have to make a Jim Custom, another one, to see if this really works for Jim. Because on this Randy Orton, it, it looks pretty big compared to his body. Um, but like I said, horse masks are meant to be big. So maybe this is good. I don't know. I'm going to end this unboxing because, I, oh my god. As we know, Jim is the Undisputed Wild Fig Stream Champion, so I gave him that belt, the Undisputed belt that comes with the Brock Lesnar, which is the title that I use in my streams. Um, and as you can see, I put Jim's body on the Triple H um, suited uh, battle pack figure, and it doesn't look too bad. The head scan's big, I will admit, as you can tell. It looks ginormous, but I don't really mind that much, honestly. Um, I think it does look really good. Um, now whether or not I'm going to make another gym to play with or something because I don't play with the gym I have right now because I don't want the custom to chip. It's a great custom. Um, so I'm probably going to make another one. I don't actually, I'm not really sure. Um, but whether or not I do, you guys will know because it'll be featured here on Mail Call. Um, but here is Jim. Looking suited up, looking nice. Uh, let's move on to something else. Alright you guys, I posted about these two customs on my Instagram, um, but I want to show you guys a closer look at them right now. They are not complete, but as you can see, I'm working on a second set of Young Bucks, if you're wondering why. Um, it's because I want a set that I can play with. Um, I do already have a set, as you guys know, um, but I don't want to play with my customs or those customs in particular because I don't want the painted chip, the design chase date on them the bullet club logo is amazing i don't want to risk ruining that at all so let's take a further look at these so this is going to be mad well i'm not even sure which one they're going to be yet because obviously i don't have head scans i might change around the parts but here's the first one as you can see they already both have the dolph ziggler jacket uh which is pretty cool so we'll take this off this was a christian body as you can tell by the tattoo that i've yet to remove and as you can tell i removed all of the tights and then I kept on the boots, and then I added the extra pair that I had, the uh, John Morrison tassels, um, onto the boots that BW Figs traded me. Uh, so yeah, this looks really good so far. I don't plan on painting or anything. I'm going to keep it like this. Um, and then once I get head scans, it'll really look good. Now on to the other one right here. And we'll take off his jacket. Now, as you can tell, his arms were wiggling a good amount. And that is because I torso swapped this and I still have to glue it. Um, this is actually probably the best torso swap I've ever done. As you can see, there's only just that crack right there. On the other side, not as good, but still. Um, 
probably the best torso crack I've done. Um, it's not that loose. Um, I still have to glue it, and then once it's glued, the shoulders won't be loose. Um, but this, I think, is also an extra Christian body that I had. Um, it just had a lower torso I had to pop on, an upper torso from a fodder I had, um, and then he has, I believe, the same parts. As you can see, he has skin toe pegs on his lower knees. I still have to swap those out because it just looks weird. Uh, but once I get that swapped out, and I get some head scans on, and I finish touching these guys up, I should have a second set of Young Bucks, which hopefully I will show you guys soon. Alright you guys, I just did some trades with my friend Dwayne. I want to thank him for trading me these figures. Um, his Instagram will be shown soon, and I want to show you guys what I got. Firstly, here we have an Elite 29 Gold Dust, which is a figure that has been on low priority in terms of what I want because I haven't had this figure in a while, but I thought it was really cool. Um, he sent me a picture that he had it, and I just snagged it up. Uh, really happy to have this back into my collection. Also got this basic Justin Gabriel, wish I would have gotten this sooner um, because I just traded my Elite 12 and I would have swapped these parts onto it, um, but I'm going to make a custom Elite. I'm probably going to have to order a Miz body off of eBay, not too expensive, uh, so I can make an Elite version of this which is going to be really cool. And also he traded me this basic 53 AJ Lee which is a figure, a diva figure that I've wanted for a while. I love this head scan a lot. I also love the arms. We're going to be swapping those onto this AJ right here to make my ultimate elite AJ Lee. I cannot wait to do that and show you guys the results. So the AJ Lee fix up is complete. We're going to show you that right now. First we have the basic right here which is okay. You know this head scan isn't bad. That's not what I'm saying. I just prefer the other head scan. As you can see I ended up swapping the arms and the boots. I think the boots are the same. The laces on these I think are pink and the other ones might be red. I'm not sure. Um, or maybe just a darker pink. Uh, but this is the basic 53. And here's the AJ Lee fix up. Really liking how this looks. Like I said, swap the head scan. Love how it looks on this body. Also swap the arms. I didn't think I was going to do that, but um, the white wrist tape on these arms looks really great. And then I also swapped the knee pads, which have the white design on it. And then these boots, which are a different color. These are like a darkish red pinkish I don't really know what you call this color but very happy with this AJ Lee fix up I think this is actually the first ever divas fix up I've ever done I want to give a really big shout out to my friend Jesus whose YouTube channel is linked down below uh, he just came over we did some trades and one of the things that he traded me is this custom Kenny Omega head scan and I don't have a body for it at the moment, but I will have one soon. And I really like how this looks. This is the Brian Pillman, um, who looks exactly like Kenny Omega. And the hair is painted the gray and black. Uh, very happy with how this head scan looks. I cannot wait to make that Kenny Omega custom. Along with Kenny Omega, he also traded me the Elite 27 RVD. And with RVD being my favorite wrestler, um, it's really good to have an Elite back into my collection. Um, I might swap the head scan, I'm not sure, but I'm actually really happy. He cut the knee pads on them so they're shorter, and I love it a lot. I was going to swap other ones on there, but I'm actually just going to keep it like this. Finally here, here we have Finn Balor, and this is my fix-up that I did with the Elite 32 Cody Rhodes. And I swapped on the arms that I had on my Daniel Bryan body Finn Balor uh, with the white wrist tape and the black arm sleeves. And I'm really liking how this looks a lot. Um, like I said when I talk about Balor, there are probably going to be a lot of different fix-ups with him. Um, I might have one next week, I might have one in this episode even though it's over, so that doesn't really make any sense. Thank you guys for watching this edition of Mail Call. If you enjoyed, leave a like. That would be really cool. And as always, 